Here I have a blank blend project as I've only just removed the starting cube, camera and lights. To bring in simulated content from the Radical Cloud into Blender, open up the sidebar window by selecting the small arrow next to the navigation gizmo or pressing the N key and then select the Radical Live tab. In the interface, put in your room ID and account key into the respective field at the top of the interface. A password is only needed if the owner of the live room has opted for a password for security reasons during the setup process. As there isn't one, let's leave it. Once the details are in, when you press connect, it will display your simulated players. As I've selected multiplayer, I have multiple players displayed. If you choose a single player simulation, you'll only have one. Select the player you wish to import, and if you're wanting to import a rig with a mesh already attached to it, you can check the mesh box next to the import rig button, and it will bring in a default radical mesh attached to your imported rig. In multiplayer sessions, you're not limited to just one player in the scene. You can bring in multiple players into the scene at the exact same time. If you're finding that you cannot change the transform of a rig within the scene, you must temporarily disconnect from Radical Cloud, and this will allow you to move the scene contents and rigs as you desire. You can then reconnect as you did earlier, and it will continue any motion data from where you left off. To remove a player, click the cross next to the player ID within the plugin, and then delete the scene hierarchy of the player. 